So guys, I'm wanting to do my Detective Pikachu review tonight, but I feel like there's something missing, something that I should have with me. I got it. There we go. Much better. What's up guys, thanks for coming back. As you can already tell, I just came back from seeing Detective Pikachu. It opens up May 10th this Friday, and it was pretty cool. They gave away these Pikachu ears for everyone in the audience. I think it's pretty cool to have them. They kind of hurt my head, so don't expect me to wear any of this the entire review. Before I get started, as usual guys, I'd like to hear from you all. Tell me what you thought about this movie, if you have seen it, or if you do plan on seeing it, if you're a big Pokemon fan or not. Tell me your favorite Pokemon. And as usual, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and tap on that bell to hear any future content from me. Now to start, I'm not a big Pokemon fan. I grew up with it when it was especially big during the 90s and most of the 2000s, but when I was around it, it wasn't really my thing, though I was familiar with some of the anime and the cards and everything you can think of that happened during that specific time when it was really big. It's still big now, especially with the advances in technology and all the video games, and we've had many different animated movies to come out in theaters, but this is their first live action movie. So this movie is loosely inspired from the video game Detective Pikachu, once again a game that I'm not as familiar with, so I don't know how well it transitioned from the game to the movie, but either way, I will not be giving away any spoilers for the film, just in case. But as far as the premise goes, it's a story about a boy named Tim Goodman who finds out that something happened to his father, presumed to be dead in some accident that happens at the beginning of the film. He travels to Rhyme City where his father was living. This is a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. Every human has their own Pokemon, as did his father. He happens to stumble upon his father's Pokemon, which happened to be Detective Pikachu. Pikachu himself has no memory of what happened that night, so they are both on this mission, this investigation to find out what happened that night and try to uncover its secrets. Along the way, they meet another fellow reporter, played by Catherine Newton, and they all team up to figure this out together, and they find out that there's this darker, more sinister plan going on that might endanger the rest of the Pokemon world. So as I already said before, I'm not really a Pokemon fan. I only know so much about, about that whole universe. So going into this, I had a pretty open mind about it, and when I saw the trailer, I was pretty impressed, so that's what made me think, let me give this movie a chance. I know when I first heard Ryan Reynolds was doing the voice of Pikachu, I was a big skeptical. I love the guy, he does great in comedy, but seeing him go from Deadpool to Pikachu was really a big change, a big difference between both because Deadpool is a very vulgar superhero type, whereas you have Pikachu, he's more of a you know cute, kid-friendly type of character. And I have to say, he pulled it off really well going from these two different characters from both opposite sides of the spectrum. And now I can't think of anyone else to play the voice of Pikachu than Ryan Reynolds. As for the cast portraying the humans, the main actor is Justice Smith, which I already mentioned plays Tim. He's the one that you see with Pikachu for the entirety of the film. And he was the main face of the humans. He's more of an unknown actor. I haven't really seen him in much. But for what he did, he pulled his weight for this character he was portraying, and he was believable. He's not the best of actors, but he's definitely not the worst. And he was a good fit for this type of role. I think for this type of actor, this type of character that was being portrayed, I think it was better for an unknown to be played by this person, because Pikachu is like the Mickey Mouse in Pokemon. So this is a character that you don't want anyone else taking the spotlight. So for an actor like this, it was very appropriate to be alongside Pikachu. And rounding out the cast, you have Catherine Newton, along with veteran actors Ken Watanabe and Bill Nighy. The real authentic chemistry in the end is between Pikachu and Tim. These are the two you see the most in the film. You see a great connection between them both, great banter and great comedy. In the end, this is a Ryan Reynolds film, so you'll get a lot of that comedy just because of him, because you've seen his films before, so you really get what you expect out of him. Aside from that, what I really loved about this film were the visuals. The CGI was just top-notch. I was impressed by how they created these Pokemon. They looked so lifelike. Aside from the CGI and the Pokemon, another thing I appreciated was the scenery, especially when the characters go to Rhyme City, and they get there in the daytime, and in the nighttime becomes a very electronic, a techno world, full of neon lights and lens flares shining on the screen and it reminded me of a cross between the J.J. Abrams film like Star Trek with the lens flares and Blade Runner with the cityscapes. So it's very attractive to the eye, something that I appreciated. And for Pokemon fans, when you see the city in the daytime, you see Pokemon galore. I can't name them all, but I bet you if you're a fan, you'll be able to name every single one you see on the screen and you may even watch it again to spot one you didn't see the first time. 
Now, even though I enjoy this movie, there were three things I didn't like about it. One was Lucy Stevens, played by Catherine Newton. I thought her character was kind of forgettable in this film. She did have a role in it, but it just wasn't as memorable as Tim or Pikachu, and she's there to help them out. She is a bit of a romantic interest for Tim, but I just feel she could have been given more for this role, just so she can be just as memorable as those two other characters. My number two is that you have Bill Nye and Ken Watanabe, two great veteran actors, and you didn't really see them on the screen as much as I would have hoped, and it makes sense why they're not on the screen as much as the other actors, because it's revolving mostly around Pikachu and Tim. And Ken Watanabe plays a detective that you see here and there throughout the film. Bill Nye, he's on different screens of the actor, of the character he's portraying. And you see more of a lifelike version of him towards the end. But I feel we could have seen a little bit more of these two actors that are so great to see. And my third reason is that this film is very simple in the storyline. And this is not really a bad thing I'm saying. It's just something for people that if you're expecting some deep complex plot, you're not going to get that in this movie. Because this movie is mainly for kids. It's for adults too. But it, for in order for kids to enjoy it, they have to have an easy plot to go by. And that's what this is. You're not going to get anything that's going to blow you away. So, you know, you got to have something simple, straightforward, just for the kids to enjoy. In the end, I'm giving this movie a B-. minus. very entertaining. This is a movie that I think is going to break that curse of the presumed video game adaption. We've seen it before. Critics don't like movies based on video games. They don't make a lot of money. They're not as memorable. But for me, it's a good my guilty pleasure. I like movies like that. Resident Evil I like, Mortal Kombat, Prince of Persia, the latest Rampage movie. I think they're entertaining for the most part. They're not perfect, but they're fun. This one was another one, and this is the one that's gonna break that curse. It's a fine line between a game for kids and blockbuster filmmaking, and it just works. It's gonna be fun for kids. It's gonna be fun for adults. Go out and see it this summer. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Y'all have a great week, and that's a wrap.